relationship came about through a, a, a mutual friend. Um, Marcus was involved with the, the ESA and through the TNT Cup. And uh, a friend of mine was racing at the, the TNT. And he knew that I had done a bit of uh, road racing and certain points like this. And he, he said, oh, you should meet Marcus. Maybe he's interested. They do a lot of, of European championships. And maybe he wants to take one of the bikes to the roads. Maybe you'd be interested. So introduced that way, Kim was a bit... Uh, uh, a bit tentative start and yeah we went forward from there and we see it's been pretty successful so far. The Kramer itself is it, it's built the main purpose is built for the super mono class so single cylinder um, it's constructed around the KTM motor around a 690 single uh, cylinder four stroke and yeah, and there is a dedicated championship and a lot of dedicated races for, for single cylinders. Uh, it is quite a nice mix. It sort of quite falls into the category of uh, yeah, a, re a proper prototype race chassis with the production motor. So that from that point, the chassis turns really well and it's really nice to ride. The, the par, is somewhere quite a nice stepping stone. We are somewhere in between 80 and 90 horsepower, so it's like if you're stepping off a small bike like a Super Sport 300, but you don't want to maybe step all the way up to 600, it's a really good intermediate bike that way. My favorite point of the Kramer, I think, is just the, the size and usability of it, like we go to tracks and you're always amazed by, by like I say, the, the lap times that you can turn on it. And it's such a friendly bike to ride. The chassis is really forgiving, turns really nice, and it's quite stable. And the pars with the, the single cylinder just allows you to, to like be that wee bit lazier and it drives really well onto the, off the corner. And from that way, it's just a real joy to ride. Well, I'm a bit of a road race specialist, I guess, these days, and uh, yeah, it was one of the main reasons that I got involved with Kramer. So we took the bike for a bit of a road trip last year, took it to Ireland. We did the Ulster Grand Prix and my local race, the Tandra G100. It would be it's pretty tight to decide a favorite track between those. Um, the Ulster is really a, a very special place. It's one of the fastest road races in the world. Um, it was really nice to ride the bike like there. It maybe is, a, the track is maybe a wee bit too big for the bike, but it, it only makes you utilize the chassis a bit more. I have to say, we were lucky to get uh, a podium at Tandra Gee in uh, the Twins class. So we were up, we were, had a bit of a horsepower deficit against the bikes and, but the bike ran Tandra Gee, the T long technical turns and jumps and bumps of, the, of there. It just was really special to ride something that was so unique there. So I would definitely say Tandra Gee. Well, first rule of racing is that you always want to try and beat your teammate. And so the guy I would respect most, I have to say, would be Lucas Wimmer. So he's one of the other factory Kramer riders. He's two times a European Supermono champion and a really nice guy and crazy fast. He won the Thundersport uh, championship last year for, for, for Kramer. He always amazes me what he can do on the bike, how he approaches it. And yeah, I have to say, every time you see the way he rides the bike and when you share track time with him, you always are learning something. There's quite a few good memories. The podium at Tandra Gee that I spoke about. Um, I would say probably the, maybe the first win. We went to a road race in the Czech Republic called uh, Horice. And uh, it was, I think, only the second time we had raced the bike. And we, we turned up with newcomers to the track. 
we set it on pole position. We had the fastest lap in the race and a win, and that was a very special weekend. Something quite similar to last year. Um, we, we have a few races now at the start of the season. We do our season rollout at Slovakia Ring. Then we go on to Brno in Czech Republic for uh, the first specific mono, super mono race. Then after that, we go again back to the Czech Republic for Horice. And then we take a bit of a, a hiatus for the TT. Um, and then through the summer, we are doing selected short circuits and road races. So it'll be a, it's sort of a, a bit of a pick and mix. So we choose what we can and where we can go and we'll see what comes out. So at least the first half of the season is fixed and then we'll see where we go for the rest of it. Well, the bike never stops development. You know, at the end of the day, the, the, the factory racers, myself, and Lucas, um, we are always trying new parts. It's what the customers demand for all of us. And Marcus and the team back here at the headquarters, they're always finding ways and ideas to make the bike be faster, lighter, and more powerful, which is just what everybody wants in, in racing. So this year we, we changed the motor spec a bit from last year. So we're, we're trying something a wee bit different. Hopefully something that's a wee bit more will become a wee bit more uh, commercially viable for customers. And also in the chassis, we have a small setup change in the front just to try and get a bit more feel. So hopefully that'll add up to even more success on the track. I'm predominantly a road racer and that's where my, my, my passion lies in the sport. That's not to say I don't enjoy short circuits, but I only wish to, well, I don't only wish to race short, uh, road races because I think you need a, a bit of a balance. Um, the circuits, they allow you to be able to push to the limit in a bit of a safer environment. And by being on that edge, you start to, to, to build up your skills as a rider and also feel and get a feel for what the bike is doing when it's on the limit or how you can overcome and it lies also uh, you know outside road races are a very intense um, events because they're specific racing so it's very hard to test at these sort of events and make changes whereas going to the circuits it really allows uh, you to be able to come in make a change go out and evaluate it in a, in a very set environment so both of them have pros and cons to each other. I know where my preference lies. I think there is a, a big overlap in the skill set, but you can definitely tell at the, at the sharp end of each, you know, there's different requirements. Light, fast, and fun. <laughs>